A while back my check engine light was turned on and when checking the error codes I saw that the 1860 code was set. This indicates some kind of fault in the TCC pulse width modulation control circuit. Recently I also got the 1870 code which indicates a transmission component slipping. Now this combination of faults suggests that the transmission is slipping because the converter clutch isn't applied properly. Let's have a look under the car and see if we can find what's wrong with the solenoid. The solenoid is located on the front right corner of the valve body. The easiest way to check the circuit would be to back probe the transmission connector which is located on the right hand side of the tranny. However, I could barely fit my hand in there, so there's just not enough room. Instead, we have to drop the pan and do the probing directly on the solenoid in the valve body. And of course, the transmission has to be drained first. Unscrew all the bolts holding the pan, but leave a couple loosely attached so that the pan doesn't pull down and pry away the shift linkage on the driver's side of the pan for easier access. Now hold the pan and unscrew the last few bolts by hand. And be careful because there might still be quite a lot of fluid in the pan. Here the blue connector of the solenoid can easily be seen. Now let's measure the resistance of the solenoid by back probing the connector. It should read somewhere between 20 and 30 ohms. This one says 2.5 ohms, and apparently it's not working properly. Right, so the solenoid has to be replaced. To make this easier, we remove the pan. Insert a breaker bar at the shift linkage bracket, and bend it outwards while pulling the pan. Here it might help to grow a third arm, or better yet, get help from an assistant. And there, it's off. The solenoid is attached with a small clip. It's located in the slot right next to the solenoid. Remove the connector and turn the solenoid until you see the end of the clip. Remove the clip by inserting a small screwdriver and pull it. When pulling out the solenoid, some fluid might seep from the bore, so watch out! Oops! Well, luckily I didn't wear my suit and tie. Now for educational purposes, let's check the function of the solenoid by hooking it up to a power source. Here I use alligator clips wrapped in electrical tape, so the contacts won't be shorted. With an internal resistance of 20 to 30 ohms, the solenoid should pull about half an amp according to Ohm's law. Let's see what happens when we hook it up to the power supply. Now this one is pulling 10 amps and that's the limit of the power supply. Obviously the solenoid is shorted internally and it's just to stow in the bin 